and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I am, I've roped my husband in to help me with this uh, <laughs> very interesting experiment. Now this experiment has been inspired by a comment quite a while ago um, and I think it was Mr. Sirius who made the comment but if I'm incorrect with that I apologize um, but somebody made the suggestion pretty sure it was Mr. Sirius um, that what I should do is put a canvas on a speaker and um, turn the vibrations up now if any of you have um, kids, you're bound to have come, well, kids in the last 15 years, bound to have come across the concept of oobalik, which is corn flour, corn starch, whatever, whatever country you're from, um, and water mixed together to make a, a paste that, um, is liquid when you're gentle with it and solid when you're not gentle with it. Now there's lots of videos out there where they're using the Ublik with some glad wrap over a speaker and um, and that is the word vibrating and creating very cool shapes and stuff with the oobleck. Now I think I've actually seen it done with paint before. I may be not correct on that but so what we're doing here we tried it. We tried to get a speaker we have several different speakers, we have different, different methods of applying the speakers, but we obviously don't have the right speaker or the right music or something, and it didn't work. Well, we couldn't get the speaker to vibrate in a way that would do what we wanted it to do. So, my glorious husband came up with a very cool idea, and uh, he's a concrete man by trade and when you're a concrete man you have what's called a concrete vibrator and uh, yes that could sound rather dodgy if you want it to but it's this big long pipe with a solid bit of chunk of steel on the end that vibrates and you stick it down in the concrete and it gets all the funny air bubbles and stuff out of the concrete and um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to do some puddle pours and then we're gonna get this table that I've got this on to vibrate using the concrete vibrator. Now what I'm doing is I'm making puddle pours. I've got cobalt blue, crimson red, viridian hue, Uh, titanium white, this is phthalo blue, just because I like phthalo blue and crimson red. And then I've got some Mars black. I'm not sure how much of this you can actually all see. 
That'd be a great idea. Ah, oh, and I'm splattering it everywhere. Um, so as you can see, I'm using a lot of paint and it's a big canvas. So, big canvases require lots of paint. I have put um, what's that word? I've lost the word again. Um, a layer, as you saw at the beginning of my white house paint, and I think the only one out of all of these that's actually got silicon in is the crimson, and that's okay. Because really this is about getting the shapes that the vibrations create. So I'm going to clear these off the table. I'm moving pretty fast because I don't want that white to dry. We've got the sun out. So this is the concrete vibrator. Metal and rubber pipe power tool. Rawr. <laughs> So, Glenn says we're going to put this under here. I'm not quite sure how that's going to work. About there, like that. Okay. Hold on, don't start it yet because we need to. Gonna start it. Hang on to the whole thing, otherwise it's going to fall up on the ground. Fall yes. off. Actually, I just want to keep the shadow off your feet.
Well, that definitely did something. <laughs> oh, this looks cool. Look at the color way that the colors of Swirly Gig blended in that. If I can. Oh, there we go. Turn the brightness up. Wow. Well, that definitely did something. I'm not sure this is going to be something that you That's guys can duplicate. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you've got a concrete vibrator at home. Um, but for those of you that like pink, and I know there's some of you out there that do, there's definitely some pink in there. I quite like this green and white and pe black look. And last but not least. So there you go guys. That's my massive experiment for the day. Thank you very much to my glorious husband, Glenn. And uh, the concrete, vibra that, concrete vibrator that works. So, well, I wonder how this is going to dry. <laughs> Catch you guys later. Okay, so here it is. It's not 100% dry, but it's getting there. Hasn't changed much, pretty much like most of my paintings. All they ever do is get slightly darker. Um, it's not completely dry because they were so thick. And it is only the next day. Um, I, I really like that colour combination. That is cool. I don't know what. I don't think this is going to be hang on anybody's wall in the near future, but I do like the way it's vibrated together and created these interesting creations. Oh look, we've had a bug go swimming. <laughs> it's added to it. Let's see if I can get it out. Um. Interesting, yes, fun, heck yeah, long-term creative method, I don't think so, but that's okay, I had fun, my husband had fun, and we learnt that vibration makes cool bouncy looks and piles of paint, <laughs> how does it get any better than that? So thank you for joining us, thank you for coming to play, and how much fun can you have today? I adore you all, what magic can we be, and what else is possible when you are being you? I adore you, have fun, and I'll see you, you know what that, ooh, that looks like looking up from the depths of the see up towards the light oh, no. sorry have fun guys <laughs> be you and change the world bye bye